is killed in a traffic accident. Safety advocates are excited about the technology that can help prevent such crashes. But as Chris Van Cleve reports, new testing indicates it could be a long road. Emergency braking systems can save lives. Many new cars are equipped with sensors that can detect a pedestrian and stop automatically if the driver doesn't. But new research finds it's not reliable. How well do these systems work in real world situations like crossing the street? We, we found that, uh, that in many situations the vehicles struggled. Greg Brannon is with AAA, which tested four mid sized sedans. In one scenario, a child darts out from behind two cars. 90% of the time, the technology failed to stop a vehicle traveling 20 miles per hour. Every time a car turned a corner, it hit the pedestrian. And when a sedan traveling 20 miles an hour encountered two adults, it hit them 80% of the time. The results were even worse in the dark. The biggest thing that we uncovered is the fact that most of these systems do not work at night. And if you look at the, the situations where pedestrians are most vulnerable, it's at night. Earlier this year, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety found most SUVs tested during the day were able to avoid a crash with a pedestrian or at least slow down. Brannon says the new technology should be embraced and given time to become more consistent. Are you better to have it even if it doesn't work? Every case you'd like it to work in? Absolutely. These systems have great potential. These are systems are meant as a backstop to a really engaged driver. Automakers have agreed to put auto braking technology in almost all new cars by 2022. Experts hope it will be much better by then. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.